All right, we're back with another video, and this time we're taking a look at some more modern PS3, PS4 stuff. So let's get into it here. We got a big old stack, Little Big Planet 3 for the PS3. Really awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. And Jack and Daxter HD collection. Pretty awesome stuff. I only played the first Jack and Daxter, but it was really fun. Pretty good uh, collect-a-thon kind of game. The Nova Stay, it's welcome for me. Which I'm normally, I'm normally not into collect-a-thons, but I like the first Jack and Dexter. Got, got Assassin's Creed, Infamous. There's a lot of good PS3 games, to be honest with you. Alien Isolation, I hear this is a crazy scary game. One that I should try to play one day, maybe. Ratchet and Clank series. Uh, I think that's the, uh, no, this is the collection, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. There you get Ratchet and Clank, Going Commando, Up Your Arsenal. They were pretty fun games for the PS2. Killzone 3 for the PS3. Honestly, the PlayStation 3 had a lot of good stuff. Especially first-person shooters, which I enjoy first-person shooters. I like them. They're very easy to get into. Blast through the campaign. Just have some fun. Maybe some online multiplayer. Red Dead Redemption, another amazing, legendary game. Only to be surpassed by Red Dead Redemption 2, which is pretty crazy that they managed to make a sequel that surpassed the original, to be honest. They really went all out with Red Dead Redemption 2. But what else we got here? We got Destiny for the PS3. We got Resident Evil 6, which I enjoyed. I liked Resident Evil 6, but I know a lot of people don't like it. But I'm a big fan of co-op, so... Sonic Unleashed. What else we got here? Oh, man, God of War? Heck yeah, dude. The God of War games. And not the not the new God of War. The old style ones. The old beat-em-up games. You beat the hell out of all these mythical creatures and stuff like that. Twisted Metal for the PS3. I watched some people play this one. It looks pretty fun. I mean, if it's... I mean, it's Twisted Metal. I mean, how could you possibly mess it up? Look at this guy here. Disgaea 4. Really, really good strategy RPG for people who want just... Tons of grinding, tons of character customization, that sort of deal. Got Godfather games. I mean, honestly, the more the more I look at PS3 games, the more I realize it was a pretty darn good system. I mean, come on, 007 Legends, all the 007 games in general, Gran Turismo, and Madden games can stay. <laughs> I, I, I can pass on sports games. But the Borderland games were a ton of fun. Borderlands 1 and 2 here. And what else we got? We've got Arkham uh, Asylum, Arkham City. And unlike the PS4 and the PS5, the PS4 won't play PS3 games. That's the big thing. A lot of these great PS4 games, once you, if you choose to upgrade to a PS5, you'd be able to play the PS4 games. But these PS3 games... You pretty much have to play them on a PS3 unless they got a newer version. And a lot of these games didn't, to be honest with you. A lot of them simply didn't get a PS4 version release. Here's the Devil May Cry HD collection. I finally beat DMC 3 not too long ago. Really awesome game. Great, great action game. And yeah, there's just so much stuff. The Devil May Cry 4, I gotta play that one. And that's the PS3 stuff. So why don't we get on the PS4 games? And we got a couple PS5 games too. Call of Duty Vanguard. And what else have we got? We got Tiny Tina's Wonderlands, <laughs> which is, I guess, a uh, Borderland sort of game, which seems kind of cool. But I guess it's set in like a Dungeons and Dragons kind of world or something like that. Aliens Fire Team Elite for the PS4. That game looks really fun. A co-op third-person shooter game set in the Aliens universe. Hell yeah. We got the uh, Middle Earth Shadow of War. I love the Middle Earth games. They look so badass to me. I gotta actually like sit down and play them, but what little I did mess around with, I was like, dang, this is so awesome. Finally just getting a Lord of the Rings game where you're going around slaughtering orcs and stuff like that. Really fun stuff. 
Yeah, PS4 had a lot of good stuff too. Call of Duty Black Ops 3, Destiny, Mass Effect Collection. They're really just kind of games for everyone. Got anime games here. Got, you know, standard RPGs, you got shooters. You got a whole bunch of everything. Pretty much whatever you're into, PS4's got it. What else? Battlefield 4. We've got Plants vs. Zombies. Garden Warfare 2. Watch Dogs 2. Uh, I don't know if it was as good as the first Watch Dogs from what I heard. The first Watch Dogs premise was pretty sweet, man. When Ubisoft showed off all that cool hacking stuff you could do, we were like, hell yeah. <laughs> and uh, I don't know if uh, Watch Dogs 2 caught on as much. And what else have we got? Well, a whole bunch of sports games. <laughs> lots and lots of sports games, but there's some uh, cool stuff here. Jedi Fallen Knight. Pretty awesome game from what I've watched. I got I to try some of these new uh, Star Wars games. I, re I don't really play too much of the newer stuff, but they seem cool. I mean, the graphics seem pretty awesome. But yeah, that's the video for today. A bunch of PS4 stuff, PS3 stuff. Be sure to check out the store here in Florida or watch our stream every weekday from 4 p.m. to 10 p.m.